a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the neighborhood of Caesarea Philippi, he asked the disciples this question. What do people say about who the chosen one is? They replied, some say John the baptizer, others say Elijah, still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And you, he said, who do you say that I am? You are the Messiah, Simon Peter answered, the firstborn of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, the God of Noah. No mere mortal has revealed this to you, but my Abba God in heaven. I also tell you this, your name now is rock and on bedrock like this will I build my community and the jaws of death will not prevail against it. Here I will give you the keys to the reign of heaven. Whatever you declare bound on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you declare loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then Jesus strictly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. The good news of salvation. Glory and praise to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Reading the Gospel this Sunday, I was reminded of an old newspaper article that I had tacked to the bulletin board in my bedroom as a child. My dad was a middle school social studies teacher at a local Catholic school. He passed away almost 28 years ago when I was just six years old. And the article I had tacked up was the collection of student reflections on their favorite teachers. The student who wrote about my dad said in part, my teacher was special because he gave his time to me. He was there when I needed him, and now he's in higher places. I wasn't popular then, and still am not, but he made me feel special. In this story, both my dad and the student were able to see each other clearly. My dad clearly recognized the value and worth of the student and encouraged him. In turn, the student recognized the size of my dad's compassionate heart, which was always reaching out to others. Friends, we all want to be known for who we are at our core. We want to be seen wholly and fully and to be understood. And this is the question at the heart of the gospel today. Jesus says to his disciples, who do others say that I am? Who do you say that I am? We are all, each of us, asked this question. Who do we say that Jesus is? We might say that he is a friend, a confidant, a companion, a protector, or a role model. Like Simon Peter, we might say that Jesus is the Messiah. But I can't help but think that as LGBTQ people, we see another layer to the story because we are people who have been told lies about Jesus. We are people who have experienced pain and rejection by those who claim the name of Jesus. Before finding dignity, many of us received the message that our relationships are wrong, our way of loving is wrong, that who we are at our core is wrong. So as LGBTQ people, who do we say that Jesus is? What special knowledge do we have? Friends, as LGBTQ people, we know that Jesus is the God who stretches out to the marginalized with open arms. We know that Jesus is the God of the universe who created all of us in his image and likeness and called each of us good. Friends, we proclaim the truth of a God of welcome who is always and everywhere looking for us, seeking us, bringing us to his table. And friends, that means that we are Simon Peter because we have been given the keys to the kingdom and we are building that here on earth with this dignity community. We are each called to build the kingdom of heaven here on earth. And we do that through our daily witness to the love of God, through inclusive liturgies like this one, through our continued prophetic voice and witness that invites all people to the table. And so friends, as we walk through this next week, May we continue to reach out to others and to build the kingdom with our welcome. Amen.